Oh, hey, hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just sitting out on a windy day today and going over today's science file. And today's science file says, what causes wind? Well, you definitely want to try this. You will need two clear pop bottles, some red food coloring, and a playing card. Okay, get yourself those two clear pop bottles. What you do with the caps makes no difference. Okay, you're going to take both of the bottles. You're going to fill one with extremely hot water and the other with extremely cold water. Woo! Okay, once you've filled your two pop bottles, you're going to get yourself a deck of playing cards. From the playing cards, you're going to just want to take one card. What you do with the rest is up to you. Ha -ha. Pour some red food coloring in the hot water bottle. Take the playing card, put it on top of the cold water bottle, and flip the bottle upside down. Then place the bottle on top of the hot water bottle. Carefully slide the card out and watch. Whoa! Whoa! Now that is so cool! That is amazing! The hot water rose up into the cold water! Now, what does this have to do with wind? Well, take a closer look at this. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of air, and when the air is in motion, we call it wind. Winds are produced by differences in atmospheric pressure, which are caused by differences in air temperature. The sun heats the Earth, and the Earth transfers its heat to the air. Just like you saw in the bottle, the warmer, less dense air moves up, and the colder, denser air sinks down and takes its place. The replacement of the air is what we call wind. So now you know where wind comes from. You know, using a hot water and a cold water bottle to show you that warm fluids rise is why science is so cool.